His side has won four in a row away, but this is the first time they've played at home for a very, very long time. In fact, the white-shirted Bulgarian side haven't won in their own country since they beat Malta 7-0 back in September 1982. And this, of course, the pressure game for Wales in many respects. Even more pressure, of course, on the Bulgarians. They know if they lose this one, they have absolutely no chance at all of qualifying for the European finals in France in the summer. Wales, any kind of a result here tonight will put them in great heart for that final crunch game against Yugoslavia in Cardiff in December. Young Jeff Hopkins then with this free kick. Getting it hard and long. It was Dimitrov getting it away. Pressure again was coming from Nigel Vaughan. Mickey Thomas little back flick then that didn't work out for him. from behind Nigel Warren Mickey Thomas skips away with the ball got a very very late challenge a very late tackle it's from the big man at the heart of the defense uh, Petar Petrov Jerry Jones hooks that across James went up Bulgaria break. Nice easy cut out by um, Jeff Hopkins. Picks up Robbie James. And now this is Iskranov. One of the lads who played in, in Wrexham. Sadikov brought down from behind. Iskranov trying to break on the right side. Nicely taken then for Nigel Vaughan. That breaking loose to this excellent sweeper, Arabov. Georgi Dimitrov. And here's Mladenov. A really fearsome player, this. Watch out for him at free kick situations. Gospodinov lying deep. It's like Danov. And Mladenov it was. Letting go with the left foot, but well wide. Spadina flying very, very deep. They expected him to go forward. That's Dimitrov trying a long run and run out by his way. And the chance is still on here. For the number seven, he's gone off. Whacked away then. Poor Bryce, he was cleared. But certainly, uh, South Wall was in a lot of trouble as Mladenov broke. It's Mladenov again. Hopkins is jockeying him. Nicely knocked away by Price. Gospodinov. It's Dimitrov. Dimitrov likes to get forward when he can. And Georgie was well off target with that one. He went rips off from it. Bulgaria certainly having come good in, uh, in recent times after starting this European competition rather slowly and rather badly the new manager has got them working pretty well here's Robbie James Flynn James good try first well shot on target Robbie James the man and Mikhailov down quickly to save the way the Bulgarians opened up then with that little attack built between James Rush and Brian Flynn will certainly have given uh, the strike force of Wales little encouragement. He's clear off. Taking on Hopkins, not beating him. Petrov. He's clear off again. Against Hopkins. Price is there in support as well. And 
Price is the one who gets the bite in. Gets the corner away. He's thrown off, uh, came on as a substitute at Wrexham from the Levski Spartak side. Would have played here against Watford a couple of weeks ago. Oh, this isn't their own stadium. Petrov. Hung on rather too long. Still there for Gospodino. Challenge from Robbie James, a foul. Now looking now for his friend off, and Hopkins was in. His rush. A rush away. Robbie James, his partner, is lurking way over on the far post. And James, rush still going. And it's there for James. Oh dear. Well, take your hat off then to Ian Rush, and poor Robbie James knows he, he let his partner down. Tremendous determination from Ian Rush. The ball taken off his toe finally, and here's Robbie James with an open goal. Tried to place it, and it's wide. Sadikov uh, back for a run at it. Although Mladenov is round there as well. Here's Mladenov. It's a good drive. Picked out his spot. Got a little bit of bend on a goal to Mladenov. That's the first time he's let one go. Not quite behind it, so we can't see how much he bent it, but he picked his spot and Southall did very well to get across and cover that. Seems to look uh, satisfied with the way his team is playing at the moment. Rush turns, oh, a beautiful try! Unbelievable! That is what marks him as one of the great strikers in Europe, if not in the world. Look at the way he got that turn in, bang on target, Mihailovic a super save. Sadikov, the man at fault, as the seconds tick away off the West German referee's watch, though it may not exactly agree with the stadium clock. Well, well he's not far off. Two or three seconds added on for first half stoppage time and a first half with plenty of action. So we're back in action in the second half. And uh, Bulgaria have brought on a substitute, Rusi Gochev, a striker try and put some more action into this Bulgarian front line. But Sadikov. Well done, Neville Southall. Presented a corner, at least. We're looking around to see if uh, Danoff is still out there, the number nine. He looked a little out of his depth in the first half. Certainly looks as though it's done off the youngster who made his debut against uh, Czechoslovakia as a substitute in their last match. And the Rusi Gochev, striker from Lewski Spartak, top league goal scorer two seasons ago. He's out there for his 21st cap for Bulgaria. So clearly Ivan Butsov is a little worried. That's Rusi Gutschow. Golf. Out of off, a long ball out. Didn't really care where it was going. Anywhere would do. Flynn reaching for Jeff Hopkins. And this ball across to Robbie James. And he has scored. No, he hasn't. That's just gone past the post. Mikhailov knew nothing about that at all. Indeed, he did get a fingertip to it, but he was absolutely skinned. Yes, he just guided it past the post. 
Sir Robbie James once again denied. But that would have been a shocker for Bulgaria. And this pathetically small crowd is now very, very quiet. This is Brian Flynn with the corner. Again, a dive on the edge of the box. This time by Ustinov, and a yellow card goes to Peter Nicholas, and that means he will not be playing in Cardiff against Yugoslavia, no matter what happens. He's now over the top in bookings, and an automatic one-game ban. And it looked as though the number 14 was booked as well. Gluchev. And here's the shot from Blaninov. Deflection. Deflection, that's why it went past Neville Southall's dive. And suddenly the crowd, Bulgarian crowd, is alight. Here's Blaninov again. Battling and looking to fall. And the shot is there now. Blaninov has And finally, squeezed in off the far post. They always keep on showing it, and it is. It is Gotchev who's got it. Gotchev who's got it. For a moment I thought it was running off, but no, it was Gotchev, the man brought on as the substitute to get things going in this second half for Bulgaria. And Wales won nothing down. Remarkably so. And there's the scoreline, a sad one for Wales eight minutes into the second half. Basically coming about through Wales losing a little concentration around the edge of the penalty area, getting away thousand free kicks. And then in that mad scramble, Borussi Gochev managed to get in on the end of it and nick the goal off the far post, right across the face of Neville Southall. Wales now have a great deal to do. Flynn. Rush. Ratcliffe hiking it forward. Joe Jones. Nicholas. Ball still in play. Ratcliffe. And Arabov. Wax it clear. Chasing after this is Krenov.
tremendous challenge then by Kevin Ratcliffe, who managed to punch that fine-looking pass to safety. Robbie James. To come again from Ratcliffe and Jones. The diving header out there by Dimitrov. Jones, good pressure building here from Wales. Jeremy Charles after this with Petrov. Flip with the throw. Hopkins. Gretchen brought down, who is very angry about it. Free kick has been given in his favour. They want to make their substitution and bring off uh, Gospodinov, bring on such a body soft from the Spastak Vlana Club. This will be his fourth appearance in the Bulgarian uh, national colours. And they still can't get him on. No, yes, they can. There's a long, long wait as uh, Gospodinov, Shivko Gospodinov, one Spartak Vlana player making way for another. So once again, more pressure for Wales to soak up. Bulgaria get the free kick. So wraps it for Southall. In the last minute. And Wales going down here. one nothing. Unless something dramatic can happen in these last 30 seconds. Good and long, but it is just long stuff, and Charles battling to get there, and once again, it's out and clear, it's Borisov, the second substitute, and Bulgaria will be quite happy to keep it out of play, we're now in stoppage time, the crowd are cheering and screaming because the clock up on the giant scoreboard shows that the 45 minute period is up, it's all down to the West German referee now to decide how much stoppage time he's going to add, and there might just be time for Wales to get one more ball into the Bulgarian box. Price is up there. And Rush couldn't turn. Players calling the referee's attention to the clock up high up on the stadium. And he has taken the Bulgarian. Advice and blowing the final whistle. And Bulgaria are still alive in this European Championship. Thanks to the goal in the 53rd minute by substitute Rusi Gotchev. The ball bobbling about for a long time before Gotchev finally got the shot on target to put the first goal in this competition past Neville Southall. A sad night for Wales, but in defeat. They are not by any means out of this competition. Just makes the task that little bit harder when they play Yugoslavia in Cardiff in December.